burn for cloud What's good? Peace and love, y'all, because you're having a great day today. I'm having myself a great one. I'm chilling. I'm feeling good. And I'm wishing y'all the same. Today, I want to talk about semen retention. Specifically, the thing that I probably get the most messages about by far, man. And this is all centered around, well, why do I keep relapsing? I get people messaging me. I can't make it past the week mark. I can't make it past two weeks. I can't make it past that 30-day mark. I relapsed. Did I lose all my benefits? Stuff along the lines of relapse. So I want to go into reasons why you're relapsing, man. And this is coming from experience, man. It took me a long time to get on the streak that I am now. And I can promise y'all, I ain't never going back. But I do have a lot of experience. It took me a while to really get going. So I want to go into why you may be relapsing. And I got to tell you, it is all in the mind, man. It's all in your head, man. First of all, just based on these questions that I get, it makes me seem like y'all think it's going to be easy. This is going to be one of the hardest things you've ever done, period. All right? You probably have 5, 10, 15, maybe 20 years of programming, busting nuts on the daily, every two days, every three days, whatever it is, some unhealthy amount, right? Our ancestors before didn't have to deal with all the super stimulus around us, right? And that is why we've gone from, you know, people making inventions to people just innovating upon these inventions. There's way less invention these days, right? Because these people, they're wasting all their life force energy. They're wasting all their creative energy into a tissue, into a sock, into a girl. Failing to realize that that is your life force and that is what's going to carry you to your visions in the first place. So this is not going to be easy, man. This is going to be damn hard, I promise you. But it is going to be one of the most rewarding things you've ever done period 100 percent. i know that all right when i started man i had a vision for what i wanted and what this allowed me to do is stick to it every single day and what's happened is I've, i'm in a position where i'm actually living the vision that i once thought of right and that's going to happen for you guaranteed that's going to happen for you man as long as you find that purpose and you stick to it every day so first of all it's not going to be easy you got to get that out of your head man number two is I see so many people who have all these expectations in their mind, all right? They got all these different expectations. They watch probably 100, 200 videos on semen retention, and they get all these people's opinions, all these people's uh, experiences, and they think that they're going to have the exact same results. Every single person's journey is different. You're going to get benefits in different ways. You're going to get benefits at different time, and you're going to get different benefits altogether, all right? It's different for everybody. So you can't get discouraged when, you know, you're not seeing the same results as the guy that you're watching on YouTube, right? And what's even crazier is a lot of these boys cap in, man. <laughs> so you have to stick to your own journey and you can't get discouraged, man. You have to value your nut. That's another thing. These people, they don't value the journey enough, right? They think it's going to be easy. And when it gets tough, when they're not seeing the results and they have no evidence to say like, yo, I should keep going. They just bust and they go right back to square one, man, because they don't value it enough. Once you realize that this is a journey, this is something that's going to take time and it's all about building up and it's all about changing your mindset, man, that is going to carry you to the next level. All right. Another thing I want to talk about is the programming. Like I said, you've been programmed 5, 10, 15 years to bust nuts on the regular and it's all centered around dopamine all right dopamine is addictive right whatever releases dopamine to your through your brain is going to become an addiction over time if you continue to you know go after that stimulus over and over again it doesn't matter what it is right when you smoke weed you get a dopamine rush right when you check your phone and you get notifications you get a dopamine rush right when you bust nuts you get a dopamine rush right so it's all about closing those neural pathways that have been open for so long in your brain, closing them off and creating new ones, training your brain that no, we're not busting this nut anymore. And in fact, we're transmuting this energy towards something else now, right? So another thing, like I talked about, you've got to find a purpose, man. If you're going into this just because some benefit you heard, you know, like female attraction or something, or you're going to get like, you know, more chiseled, like slimmer whatever it is, you know, you're missing the point. This is all about 
combining a vision along with this journey, right? Finding a purpose to transmute this energy towards. Napoleon Hill in his book, Think and Grow Rich, has a whole chapter about sexual transmutation, about holding your nut, all right? Napoleon Hill, the whole book, Think and Grow Rich, is about him interviewing 500 of the most wealthiest and successful people in the world. And this is what he came up with. So, you know, it's pretty straightforward with that. Hold your nut, man. But also, find something to transmute it towards, right? If you have a business you want to start, if you want to start working out and following a hardcore regime, a hardcore routine that you're doing every single day, then get to that and stick to that, man. Because what happens is these people, they get, you know, very uncomfortable with all of this energy that's starting to flow up your spine into your brain, right? And it's new to you, right? It's very uncomfortable. If you're not transmuting it, if you're not creatively expressing it, then that sexual energy is going to find a way to escape you, right? It's going to override your brain and you're going to be right there doing the one thing that you swore you would never do. Like I said, it's so simple. Don't touch your meat. Don't watch porn, right? Stop messing with that girl down the street. You've got to take yourself seriously. The last thing is what I mentioned at the beginning. You're in your head about it too much, right? You're counting the days, right? And where attention goes, energy flows. It doesn't matter if you're doing everything right. If you're sitting there just in your bed doing nothing over and over every single day, which is very easy these days when, you know, people don't really have jobs or, you know, we're all locked in our house. It's very easy to just waste your day away in your bed, busting nuts, all right? But you got to understand that if you're on this journey and all you're thinking about is, you know, I'm on day 10, I'm on day 14, you know, that is still putting attention towards this whole entire holding of your nut. You've got to forget about it. You've got to detach from it, right? It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative energy. The fact that you're thinking about it is going to keep it on your head and it's going to make it that much harder. It's going to make the urges that much stronger. And the last thing I want to say, yo, is these people, they peak, right? They don't take it seriously. They peak or they mess around with some girl or whatever it is, they don't take it seriously. Like, I was there for a while. My first streak ever, I went, um, I think it was six months, and I ended up busting with a girl. And I was so mad at myself because the whole time, I, I literally, inside of me, I had a voice in my head the whole time saying, don't do this, don't go through this, don't go through with this, don't do this, and I did it, right? Same thing as when you're on Instagram and you see that big booty, big booty IG model. <laughs> Yo, don't go through with it. Turn turn that application off. Delete Instagram if you have to. Do not go to those demonic websites and do what you're programmed to do. All right? This is all about shaking that programming, right? Every time you go back to it, you are making it that much harder to start up another streak and get going again. All right? So peaks are not going to help you, right? That peak is going to release dopamine, and then your brain is going to be craving it forever. The times when I used to bust, man, it was always because of that. Like, like literally, yo, um, I would I would peek at something, even if it was just like a picture of a girl on Instagram. And next thing you know, whether it was 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours later, I'd be done. I'd be right back at square one. And it's tough. It's tough, man. I know. But you guys got to just realize that it's all about taking your mind away from it, not getting in your head about it, not comparing yourself to others. And most importantly, transmuting all that energy that you're receiving towards your goals, towards a creative effort, all right? There's so many outlets, right? And no one can tell you what's right and wrong, but you've got to be doing something other than just thinking about it and staying the same, right? Literally, if you have a grand vision and you start combining that with retention and you work on it every single day, you will achieve it, all right? Like, like literally, you will achieve it. Because one thing that happens is you become so crystal clear on what you want and your productivity starts shooting through the roof, man. Because you got no other choice, right? When you realize that transmuting this energy is the best way to go about this whole entire process, you're going to want to be chisel or you know chipping away at that block every single day towards your goals. And like I said, you will get there. You're going to get there. So I hope this made some sense. I hope maybe you guys resonate with some of this stuff. 
this is where I was. These are the kind of problems I was running into all the time when I started, man. But I promise you there's hope. I'm finna be on nine months on the 16th, actually, which is tomorrow. And, um, you know, I'm just wishing you guys the best. If you guys ever have any questions, hit me up on Instagram. I try to get back to everybody. And, you know, keep going on this journey, man. Do not give up on this journey. All right? It's so worth it. Like I said, it's one of the most rewarding things you will ever do. Peace and love, y'all. Remember, life is a gift. There's no stress and there's no pressure. Peace.